Yep. What's going on, Boston? Down here at the Charles River. Sitting here with my man, we chopping up some real good game. Enjoying some of this fresh air, you know? We're enjoying this fresh air right now. And that's the that's the key to this video, that's the name of this video. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna call it fresh air because I'm uh, I'm enjoying fresh air right now. Recently I quit smoking cigarettes. You know, um and it feels good. It feels good to get a little bit of this uh, fresh air. And uh and the namesake of uh, telling stories of how I got over and self-betterment, because that's what my channel is all about. That's my point of doing all this is self-betterment and telling the world on my how I got over story. And um, let me tell y'all how I got over. Before I tell you how I got over, I want to tell you a little bit about my my smoking cigarettes uh, story, you can say. Now, this is the second time I quit smoking cigarettes, you know? And... Uh, first time I put it down, I think it was amazing how I put it down because I, I was surrounded by it, literally. When I say I was surrounded by it, I mean I was surrounded by it at home because I had two roommates, uh, Doug and Ma. We were staying out in the Fields Corner area. Shout out to Doug and Ma. And shout out to Fields Corner. Fields Corner stand up. Anyhow, uh, you know, we all living together. We all smoke cigarettes. So at home situation, naturally, smoking cigarettes whenever you want it. Boom. I was working at a nightclub as well, my, just my job situation. Uh, I was working down at the old Avalon. The old Avalon now is called House of Blues. And uh, this is before the uh, smoking cigarette ban in the city. And we, you know, we could smoke cigarettes in the nightclubs, bars, restaurants, etc. And at my job, at that point in time, we could smoke cigarettes whenever we want. wanted to, you know. Here's a fun fact, as a matter of fact. Uh, there was a fire in this kind of Connecticut or Rhode Island. I forget, one of those states, one of our close neighboring states. And a uh, rock band named The Great White. Big fire, a lot of people, uh, a handful of people died, rest in peace. And uh, after that pyro problem that they had with the fireworks and the fire broke out, they came down with the ax on us and no more smoking cigarettes in the restaurants, bars, nightclubs, etc. And um, But anyways, the point that I'm trying to make is that I was surrounded by cigarette smoke at home and also at work. But uh, I put it down, you know? Um, and later on in life, I found myself living by myself, no roommates, and not surrounded by it as much and trying to quit. And for the past six, seven years maybe, I've been trying to quit cigarettes and uh, I finally quit. I put them down, it's been about a week and a half now. And uh, it feels good, it feels real good as a matter of fact. Um, and here's my how I got over story, here's how it all happened. Uh, words and thoughts are very powerful. I'm gonna say that again. Words and thoughts are very powerful. All right, so I force myself to read reasons why I should quit smoking every day. Here's what I mean by that. I had a ritual when I'd wake up in the morning, I'd go take a shh. And when I would take my shh, right across from my toilet, right? I had a big sign up that said 50 reasons uh, to quit smoking cigarettes. On the edge of my bed as well was another spot where I would like to smoke cigarettes. And I would sit there at the edge of my bed and I would smoke my cigarettes and I, you know, I would force myself to read this sign. Also, I had another sign right in front of my bed. 50 reasons why I should quit smoking cigarettes. So every day, even when I smoked a cigarette, when I was on the toilet, whenever I did, all throughout my house, I had these signs where I would sit, giving me reasons why I should quit smoking cigarettes. And they've been up for about seven months, maybe close to a year, maybe. But after seven months to a year, forcing myself to read this stuff, I finally quit. Words and thoughts are very powerful. So now today, I'm cigarette free. Um, and that's how I got over and maybe you guys can take that, apply that to your life, what you're doing, what you're going through, and do it as well. Um, come down to a place like this in Charles River and get some of this fresh air. I'm going to pan out and let y'all get a good view. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Alright? It's beautiful out here though. A marvelous, marvelous, modern marvel. <laughs> Very marvelous. Beautiful day down here. Beautiful day down here at that that dirty, dirty old Charles. Beautiful but dirty. 